God, the recording software didn't want to work. So now we are a little bit ahead from um, where I would want to be, but yeah, we'll start off from here. Anyways, guys, uh, welcome to some Castle Minor Z. The one and only game where you are forced to use torches. <coughs> Anyways, uh, I'm playing uh, a scavenger mode which has more loot boxes and stuff. I'm just trying to get caught up to where me and my friend were in progress. And I was going to record like the whole experience, but apparently it did not want to work with me today. Bloodstone pistol. Alright. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have a bit more stuff, but it should be fine. Shouldn't matter too much. Alright. So, essentially, right now I'm exploring caves. I'm trying to gather materials. Uh, I had to start over because we had this hacker join the game. I'm pretty sure he was hacking because, like, he was able to place torches, like, all the way over there. <laughs> uh, you can only reach so far in the game, and he was, like, reaching very far away. And... I don't know how I did that, but... I'm surprised that is a bug. This game's old though, I doubt. I thought something like that will be fixed. I'm pretty sure that's only possible with the auto climb on anyways. Effectively had x-ray there. Also, this game is a little further updated than when I last played it, because when I last played it was on like 360. 360 days was when I last played this game. Same with Murder Miners, honestly, chat. I said chat reflex reflexively like I'm streaming. <laughs> uh, boyos. That's right, I decided to call you guys boyos. Anyways, we're just playing some good old classics. Uh, we even did like an Among Us stream yesterday. It turned out to be a blast. I didn't think that game would ever be that fun, honestly. Just messing around like that. You can't hardly ever have that much fun in a lobby. Most of the time. Because some people take it too seriously. Can't mind that. That is bedrock. That is the middle of the map. All the middle spawn tower thingy. And the spire. Anyways. So I'm just gonna open up a bunch of these lucky blocks and uh, get some materials, honestly. I'll have to make some crates and stuff to store some stuff, but uh, I'll probably do that in, a, uh, in some of the alien grounds and stuff. We gotta get diamonds, get a bloodstone pickaxe, and get some stuff to get. And after we get a bloodstone pickaxe, though, we'll be effectively where I last uh, left off with my friend. However, I'll need to get him some gear as well. Cause like the dude, the dude had like this laser drill thing. I'm not even sure if that's a weapon. Yeah, 
that? It's not even on here. How the fuck did that guy have a laser drill? Like, what? Huh? Okay. I'm not sure how somebody had a fucking laser drill, because that's not even a goddamn gun, but okay. But yeah, uh, if you guys want to see more of this game, I plan on doing an endurance run. And trying to beat the undead dragon to unlock dragon endurance. Because that is a thing I want to do. And then we'll do a dragon endurance survival gameplay thingy. It'll be like playing hardcore Minecraft, except for. My Streamlabs will be able to handle this a lot better than Minecraft. So, like, I would want to do a Minecraft Hardcore Let's Play, but, like, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, ah, I'd, I'd, I'd die. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Got another diamond knife. Cool, cool. Bam, And the longer you survive in this game, the harder it gets, so. It is usually, typically, a good idea to, uh, get to the undead dragon as soon as possible and try to kill it. Laser pistol, we got a laser pistol, we got a laser shotgun. Oh, we no longer need the bloodstone pistol. We've got explosive powder, we've got C4, we've got bloodstone now. Sluggy blocks uh, sure do change up the game. Usually you'd have to go farm for these fucking shits, but like I could just go open a few lucky blocks and have my day made. Like this is easy mode. There's so many. Oh, we're near Blood Gulch Volor. Mm, gold pistol. Not exciting. At least since I have enemies disabled just so that way I could catch up. I'm gonna go down there and get all the bloodstone I can. Another rocket launcher? Oh, and they stack. That. Ah. Uh, yes. That is something I can get behind. Man, when did they change how that worked? Probably when it, since it's on Steam, it works differently. We got another rocket launcher. We got a gold submachine gun. A gold pistol. And a gold rifle. We got three rocket launchers. Which is uh, going to be very handy. For whenever we do venture further. I'm not sure if the dragons spawn. While you have no enemies on. But if they do. 
It's okay. If they do, it's okay. Either way, it's gonna be a fine. I won't have really any issue taking it down. Anyways, we will need to make some laser bullets for our laser guns, though. For me, laser pistol. And the laser shotgun is going to be more for uh, fighting enemies. The pistol is purely going to be for this goddamn dragon. That and the bloodstone LMG. Which will at least need one of to take down the undead dragon because yes you need a lot of bullets and to be able to shoot a lot of bullets quickly things in which most people don't have two pieces of bloodstone without really having to mine any. Alrighty. We've got a decent amount of stuff. I think I want to go down here now, for many reasons, one, I need a bunch of bloodstone, also need diamonds, so. So let's get to digging. I'm just trying to see what all I'm working with. Well, we got a diamond LMG. It'll be good enough to take out a dragon. We are going to need to make a storage crate. A diamond axe. It's pretty good. Mm. 
let's do like that. Look at all the love. Bloodstone. I'm going to collect eight to have ten to make a pickaxe. I think that's uh, what I need to make a pickaxe. Yeah, ten. And that way we can gather bloodstone and stuff a lot easier. And we'll make our way towards Amianville. Because we'll have the Bloodstone pickaxe to be working with. And we'll have to head that way anyways. To really do anything. To get all the good stuff, I should say. I'm gonna make this video a long one. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do anything really. how that is a future. Alright, it's going to be pretty dark. Uh, not much I can do about that. Uh, we need to go this way. Yo ho yo ho pirate's life for me Yo ho ya heart The adventure has started Love this game. Uh, 
Ui. Did we just get 10 bloodstone from that lucky block? Jesus Christ, and we took all that time to mine it. Uh, lucky blocks. is full so <laughs> can't really do anything more actually I'm just gonna toss out all the stuff that isn't bloodstone or you know I'm just gonna toss out all the golden diamond stuff Got some space rock. Oh, there's the laser drill. It's in the pickaxe section. Okay. Well, we found it. <laughs> the pickaxe, apparently. Damn, it's an overpowered pickaxe. You'll see why. It, it uses gold bullets? Well, we got a few. You, you guys will see later on. We'll, we'll uh, demonstrate the power of the laser drill. It is day three. Actually, I may want to keep this, this, and this in my main inventory here. Just because I don't necessarily need the knife, but... More gold bullets. Uh, I'm going to keep that down here, too. Just because... Those are semi hard to make. Diamond. Throw that out. We don't need that. Oh, we got another diamond spared. Oof. Another. We don't need. You know what? I don't even need them.
Oh yeah. Hey, let's dump a gig's time. Oh, uh, you know what? It's not important enough to put in our main inventory, but it is important enough to keep. Dang, I was hoping to uh, be able to instant mine that, but I mean, hey, for Bloodstone Pickaxe to be able to mine in two hits, that's that's pretty good, pretty good stuff. A gold pistol, patui. Oh, <laughs> we've got two bloodstone pistols. Call the rifle and get out of here. Alrighty. Let's continue forward. I think I'm going to only stop for the golden lucky blocks now, as they have materials that, uh, well, I need more of, really. Look at all that! I know that's the skybox, but I mean, like... <laughs> Of shit. You know what? We can throw out that type of pickaxe now. So we got a brand new one. The fuck is over here? Oh. Okay. See, this is the time you would usually just go underground, chill out for the night, wait until daytime. Though the screams have stopped, but we have no enemies, so we're just going to progress. As far as we can.
from gold pistol, gold shotgun, and blurg. I don't know what else I got. Another diamond pickaxe. All that stuff. Don't need all that. I forget how long this takes. This really do take a long time. Once we get to the mountains, though, I think we're starting to get to them, actually. Dragon Endurance won't be too hard to get for whenever we do do that, and I think I'm going to do it as a live stream. And yes, to make it harder on myself, I will do it on a public lobby. <laughs> because you never know who might enjoy it. There might be some trolls or something. God, I remember 360 days whenever you didn't have people like that. You had people join, they join your party, and then like everything was smooth sailing from there. You guys would chat, strategize, and then come up with a way to survive, endurance, and go as far as possible. I mean, it was good times, man. Good fucking times. I'm honestly just glad that this game's on Steam. <laughs> yeah, we're not too worried about the resources here, because, um, we're about to go to resource biome. It's literally a biome filled with, like, diamonds galore. It's filled with literally everything you would possibly need. So, the speedrunning strat would just be grab a shit ton of wood. Probably enough iron to make an axe, which would probably just take like, I don't know, if you're lucky enough, like two fucking lucky blocks. Get iron for an axe, chop down like, I don't know, three, four trees, get enough sticks to make some pickaxes. And then you just mine all the way there. You literally just mine. You go pretty deep and then you just mine straight. And then you just have a supply chain of someone having sticks. And then you just keep making stone pickaxes. You don't really need anything else. Sure, if you get enough iron to make an iron pickaxe, you can make an iron pickaxe to go a little faster.
get the journey over with that much quicker. Constant thunder, though, is uh, a bit Im intimidating, to say the least. Oh, oh, that's big. Okay, I didn't realize I could do that. Didn't know I could jump like midair to soften my landing. That is not something I knew had existed. Console didn't have all this fancy stuff. We didn't have all this on 360. I wonder if this game's on Xbox One, like Murder Miners is. Whenever I start playing Xbox again, I'm definitely going to invest in getting Murder Miners on it. <laughs> the game is so fucking fun. Snow biome. Next biome should be the alien biome, I think. It's that or the resource biome. Both of which are good spots to build the base. We're waiting to get that far to build the base, because that'll be where the base of operations will be. the uh, teleporters are still one-time use. I hope not. This seems fairly updated so I hope they're they have like a durability instead of being a one-time use. And make them more viable to use for traveling. Because then you could just set up an outpost in each biome and then, you know, get all the resources you needed. And then teleport to your main base. Like, I could see the reason for making them one time use, but I mean, like, that's so many resources. You run out of stamina so quickly. <laughs> See, with endurance mode, you wouldn't even have the sprint. resource land oh yeah yeah this is this is why I, I call it resource land you guys ooh, there's oh and it has spaceship okay well we're getting spaceship 
Alright, well we found where we're making the base. This is definitely the area. Cause we need the space rock, space goo, all of it. We need diamonds for this. Wait, we already almost have enough, we just need diamonds. Which I'm sure there will be plenty of down there. Uh, this is definitely the area to go if you want to find stuff. For resources. Ow. That could have ended badly. effective than the pickaxe. make this just some bloodstone and space rock to do up there and uh, just look for diamonds this is why I said it was the best fucking biome oh we need one more that is copper There is a lot of copper though. Alright. Ultimate mining gun acquired. See guys, this is how you effectively mine. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. How fast does this get? Two. So this laser sword is as good as a bloodstone pickaxe. Well, it is a bloodstone laser sword, so. All right. Okay, uh, 
pistols. There we go. The best laser pistol and best shotgun. Now for ammunition, how do we make laser bullets? Space stone and diamond casing. Alrighty. Let us make some laser bullets for my laser pistol and shotgun. And now for the LMGs, we need 60 bloodstone and 6 diamonds. So, let's hope this doesn't kill me. Okay, we are fine. I think those mines blood stone pretty quickly though. Alright, back to the blood stone pickaxe actually. No, you do not do that. Yeah, that bloodstone laser sword is faster at doing this, so. So let's go get some diamonds. We will build up right here. See, it's not too hard to find diamonds once you're this far out in the game. Not too hard at all. Alright, we got the Bloodstone LMG, which can replace this pistol. So now, what we need are 
diamond bullets, which require gold casing. And, uh, of course, diamonds, so... I think that will be enough of that. And gold bullets need iron casing. And, of course, gold, so... We'll make... That much iron casing. And then we just open lucky blocks. Get a bunch of gold materials. What do we do? We didn't even get a mine for this shit. Of course, we could do the same for the diamonds, but I mean, like, that will take a while, so. I will stick to just mining the diamonds. I mean, of course. We can just go around mining the gold. Literally, this, this thing is going to have a lot. I have no idea what else dropped, but we got the most important stuff. To be honest, guys, I'm not too sure how I'm doing that glitch. Definitely easy to find all the good stuff. Alright, well, let's continue traveling for now because I want to go find. Let's look at this. Diamond's just sitting right here. Okay, I'm just gonna. Yeah, the laser sword is so fast, but I mean, like, it dies out so quickly, too. For a cool ass laser sword, I'd expect it to last longer. Okay. Oh, we gotta go pistol somehow somewhere. So I don't need the bloodstone pistols anymore. I don't need the knife. I definitely don't need these laser shotguns, this laser pistol. 
these diamond LMGs are useless. These basic bullets are useless. Iron bullets, useless. Ammo. Diamond bullets, thank you. Oh, we don't have the gold smelted. Makes sense. Alright, here we go. Bunch of gold. For our gold ammunition. Yeah, we've, we've got quite a bit of iron casing, so... Hey, our inventory suddenly is, uh, looking clean. Yeah, and beyond this is a uh, Bloodstone Valley, which the Undead Dragon spawns in. So, I do want to make the base somewhere near here. thinking of just making it inside of that so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to make my base off camera and do a bunch of good stuff so yeah let me uh, know if you guys want to see more and uh, definitely uh, should play any other games trying to be annoying. Yeah, pretty effective gun at collecting resources. We caught down. All right. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, please do subscribe. Uh, I do try to play other games other than Funky Friday, so gotta respect the grind. Am I right? I'm blasting stuff and I'm not even meaning to. All that coal, man. <laughs> I like this gun. It's a very effective pickaxe. It can... Oh yeah. Alright. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna have fun with this. I'm gonna build my base. Like, right, probably on the edge. Because I don't want to deal with the aliens. Trying to break down my base. Alright. So I'll see you guys. Mm, tomorrow.